I mean, you, you know, you look really, your figure is gorgeous and you're slim. Have you, has this, have you always been slim? Has this helped you to maintain? No, not way? always, because I think sometimes as a vegetarian, you still have to be careful. It's very you, easy to um, eat. You can eat, right, potatoes and... Starchy and, food, which, which pastas. Actually, potatoes are very healthy yeah, for you. But some people this, overdo, but you can't junk food as a vegetarian. Or you yeah. know, what have you. Crackers. It's easy, it's easy still to do. So a couple of years ago, I, I really kind of switched to being a raw vegan and I had gained some weight. I had... Uh, I had my boyfriend's who's 19 years younger than I am. I was cooking like that. all that's, kinds of food for him. That's another benefit of the vegetarian <laughs> yeah, that's diet. That's a very good benefit. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was cooking for him and I gained some weight, but as soon as I started to pay attention on the eating more live foods, I took off 20 pounds. And what about exercise? Does that play into it well, too for you? Well, not that much for me, uh -huh. although I, I walk. I have beautiful hills behind my house, mm -hmm. horse trails, so I walk there. I do a little, a little Qigong, mm -hmm. and my family just got me a wee, I have to say. I love oh. that. I hula hoop and I ski and Well, because you are, you know, one of the things that Mr. Murdoch likes to talk about is brain calisthenics and how you keep sort of mentally young as right. well. And one of the things that I have learned about you is that you do keep up with the latest technology. You've got your we. You've got how many friends on Facebook? Well, I went from 100 in September to three over 3,000 now. Okay, so go and Facebook uh, and friend Mimi Kirk. On I Facebook. love it. I answer questions. I post my recipes on there for oh, raw fantastic. food meals. Well, that's good. You click the picture and you can find a beautiful burger or a brownie. And it's all made healthy. Okay. Um, well, maybe we'll post this video there too. Yeah. So I. Um, I really think that eating this way and eating live food and paying attention, I just think it's never too early to start. And so, so what would be your advice to somebody who's thinking of they want to transition but they are a little intimidated by the whole idea of... Well, my favorite thing is to tell people is you don't have to, cut, you don't have to give anything up. All you have to do is start adding. That's great. So if That's you add that drink way. in the morning, that uh -huh. green drink, which takes you less time than it does to wait in Starbucks for a coffee or to up. fix a breakfast, mm -hmm. it fills you up for most of the day. Mm -hmm. If you start with the green drink and then at lunch you try to have a salad or something that's, mm -hmm. uh, which I call live food, something mm -hmm. living mm -hmm. that's not cooked out or processed, even if you eat a regular dinner, you still have benefited. That's true. But your body starts to crave the food the that makes foods. you feel good and gives you energy. And I think the, the drink, even if you have a couple of those a day, but having one in the morning, your body just, you start to feel immediate.